In this procedure, we'll be isolating bacteriophage, which are viruses that attack bacteria. We'll begin by putting 100 microliters, which is 0.1 milliliters, of E. coli onto your TSA plate. Remember that you can use your P200 to do this, set to 100. So this is the this is the conversion that you need to remember, right? 0.1 mils or 0.1 milliliters equals 100 microliters. Go ahead and spot your bacteria onto the center of the plate because we're going to be using the spread bar to to disperse them throughout the entire plate. You will have already labeled your plate with four quadrants. Three of these quadrants are going to be spotted with bacteriophage and one of them will be our control. So this is the fun part. We get to use alcohol. So do your dip in the alcohol and just a single pass through the flame allowing the fire to burn out on the bar before you get going. Oh yeah. Now you can spread your bacteria completely all over the TSA plate, so back and forth and all around, making sure that you get an entire lawn of bacterial growth. You want bacteria to be everywhere so that you can see exactly where the bacteriophage have attacked the bacteria and left a region of, of lysis. It's those regions of lysis that we're interested in. If this is not the most exciting thing you've done all day, well, perhaps you should get out more. Because bacteria, baby, are where it's at. Now in order to go ahead and sterilize the bar, we'll go ahead and dip in flame one more time, and you can put this aside. You're all done with it. But now you're ready to work with the filtered sewage. Great place to isolate bacteriophage is from sewage, where we know there's a lot of them prevalent there because there's plenty of their hosts. So to get the right volume of bacteriophage, you'll want to grab your P20 and you'll be pipetting five microliters onto each one of three quadrants. Go ahead and tap your epi tube down just a bit to make sure that the filtered sewage is on the bottom of the tube and go ahead and take your five microliters. We'll spot five microliters on each one of three quadrants and we'll allow the liquid to absorb into the TSA plate and we know that those are the regions where the viruses will attack, will attack the bacteria leaving a region of lysis in the lawn of bacterial growth. We're going to go ahead and do this on each of three quadrants just to make sure that we get enough bacteriophage to work with next time. We're going to be doing a dilution, a serial dilution with our phage next time so that we can actually quantitate them. Now your fourth and final quadrant is going to be used as a negative control. And in that negative control, we'll just put some sterile broth so that we can see a region that has no lysis to compare to our areas where we have put the bacteriophage. Now you're all set, go ahead and allow your plate to dry, allow the spots to absorb, and you can invert it and incubate it.